so far we have covered part module property module assembly module step module and uh, define the necessary things okay we will skip interaction module because we don't need any interaction we don't have any contact pairs like that okay so uh, we will move to load module and here we will define some loads okay so let's first define bound recognition okay so click on pc and click on manager click create and then just you can name it like fixed you know uh, just 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 what you like to name it fixed bound recognition something like that okay <coughs> and click initial okay click here mechanical and then you can uh, use symmetric asymmetric and caster option click on that and uh, I'm gonna fix all four edges of this slab okay so uh, click on that edge I will hold shift and then click this edge with left click this is how we select multiple things right just hold shift and left click hold shift and left click okay now click on done and there are a few options uh, so basically this is the edge where boundary condition will be applied okay so I need to define fixed boundary condition so fixed boundary condition I will uh, I will restrict all the displacement boundary displacement degree of freedom and the rotational degree of freedom right so this option I have chosen so basically click on ok and just this is how we create boundary condition ok one more thing is that there is gravity load also on this uh, by the way if you want to rotate it uh, your model okay uh, you can just hold control and alt and just left click and rotate okay and if you want to zoom it just scroll your uh, wheel okay okay so now uh, in this slab the load of the slab acts okay it's just a body load so basically there should be gravity load okay so let's go to load manager create and stress analysis step so there are many types of loads listed here okay and just choose which is suitable for you so I need to define gravity so let's click on gravity and you can name it gravity okay click continue and just uh, see what instructions are there and uh, component okay uh, the gravity should act if I align this part like that so uh, gravity should act in minus g direction okay that's how uh, if I assume this is the top and then the gravity acts downward okay so minus g direction so this component is x direction this component is y and this component is c okay so no x no y only z direction so 9.81 meter per second square okay just click ok this is how uh, we define gravity okay so by doing that we have just applied the dead load of the body weight dead load or uh, body weight okay it will take care of that now next thing is uh, we need to define pressure also I think so okay let's say create 
pressure okay select pressure from here and click continue now see the masses here select surface for the load so the surface where the pressure acts you have to select it so the top surface has to be selected uh, for pressure load I have selected top surface click on done now it will ask you which side of the surface you want to uh, select it, okay we have just selected the reason and now it it is asking to uh, which side okay brown side or purple side brown side is here purple side is here okay so the top side is brown side so select brown side that's how uh, the pressure will act on the top so magnitude uh, you have to put the pressure in SI units like Newton per uh, meter square right so uh, let's say uh, it has 500 uh, megapascal of load so 500 E6 I think so uh, you can change this load uh, as, as uh, you want to experiment with it okay so for now I have uh, given an input of 500 E6 that means 500 megapascal megapascal okay so click OK look at that this arrow denotes the pressure load on this surface okay this and this uh, yellow arrow defines the gravity load okay so we have created dead load and pressure load and one more thing is left we have to define temperature we have to assign some temperature also so let's go to predefined fields manager and create and here is temperature okay so temperature okay click continue select the reason for uh, the field or press 10 to be calculate temperature okay now click on that done okay so uh, there are few options here we have to look at that select the variation constant through the reason gradient through the cell section defined at cell beam or temperature points okay so uh, if you wanna select things like that the top has 20 degree and bottom has 100 degree okay and you think that there is a gradient uh, you have this uh, temperature points that top is 20 degree and bottom is 100 degree then you have to select this one okay now just put the 20 degree and temperature points two points okay so now 100 degree okay for now let's put it like that okay uh, later we will change the these values like 120 okay and we will see the differences of what 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 the differences uh, will uh, it creates to our results okay and there is one more way to define temperature uh, you can just constant through the reason this will define uh, constant temperature throughout the reason so if you think that temperature doesn't change along the thickness or you can you have freedom to ignore the change in temperature along the you know thickness then you can just constant through the reason uh, you can choose this okay but for now we have this one okay uh, later we will uh, see the changes uh, we will experiment something or you can do uh, yourself this experiment just try out this option and what does the what effect it has you to your model okay so the the model which 
correctly defines your problem that will be uh, that should be used okay so let's uh, select this one and click ok so for now we have just created temperature and loads gravity load and pressure load okay so uh, this is how we create load and boundary conditions see you in the next video